social group member account needs to be set up for each member of a social group. The account will allow the social group member to book into the tea times reserved by their captain. Let's see how this is done. To create a new member of a social group, select the directory option from the top of the screen. On the page that loads, select the create member option. Once selected, the next page will allow you to enter all the relevant details for the member. For example, their first name, their last name, and also their preferred name. You can also enter in a date of birth, and it's important to get as much detail as you can about the member um, and have as much accurate detail about the member as possible. So we'll put in a date of birth there, and you can also select the gender of the member. Once the general details are entered, you can then enter in the membership details on the right hand side. Now the membership number is really important to keep the naming conventions consistent with the acronym of the social golf club, followed by the membership number of the golf club. So I'm gonna do the My Club Social Group, so I'm gonna say MSG, and I'm gonna say 00034. Now the parent membership number section can be left blank, and then you can enter a join date for the member. Now this membership type option is vitally, vitally important to ensure that the member is set up correctly. So from this list, you need to select the correct social group that they belong to. So I'm gonna select the My Club A group and the membership status is active. Now moving down the page on the left hand side, we've got the user login details. Now the username should be the same as the membership number. Okay, so again, I'm gonna enter in MSG, 00034. We can then enter in a password for the account, so that can be any password that you um, feel appropriate for the account, but you need to be able to pass that on to the member. So I'll put in a password, and again, you can leave the account status as active, the security code and the security role as it is. Now moving to the right hand side here, we've got the home details section. So you can put in some details about their home address. And again, it's really important to get as much detail as possible uh, into this area. So you can call on it at a later date if you need to contact the player. A really, really important uh, piece of information that it's vital to get for any social group member is their email address. The reason it's really important to get their email address is that when a timesheet opens that uh, has tea times reserved for their social group, they'll get sent an email letting them know that the event has been opened and prompts them to go in and make their booking. So it's really important to put in their correct email address. There we go. Um, also their contact details, again, as much information as we can um, in regards to their contact phone number, their mobile phone number, their work number, all of that. Look, it's not a requirement that you get all of those details, but as much detail as you can um, is fantastic. Once you're happy with the setup of your member, you can just click the insert option. I'd always recommend before clicking insert, that you go back and ensure that the membership number that you've given the member is correct, that their membership type is correct, and that their username matches their membership number. Once all of that's correct, you can then click insert. Once you click insert, that member's account will now be set up. You can then provide them their login details and they'll then be an active user of the system.